Not yet. It took a little bit. I don't know. Hello, welcome to Noonday Prayer. Hi, Janet. We'll pray for Trudy. Hi, Patricia. The service begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Oh, they're coming in. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Patricia. Janet. And Shannon, wow, from New Hampshire. Sally, from the library. Hi, Frida. Hi, Frida. Hi, Patricia. We'll pray for Jeanette and everyone in the hospital with COVID. There's a siren, yeah. Our church bells have been replaced. You're leaning right when I'm by the teddy? Yeah. All right. We're beginning on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 126 on the on page 105. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Sion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Uh, so Monday night, uh, Deacon Joanna is... Uh, forming a group with other people too, uh, called the Community of Hope. Uh, and I had taught a class on family systems theory uh, to that Community of Hope. And so if, I know some of you are there, like Michael Mitchell, so uh, y'all might have heard this before, but I wanted to share this one concept because it's so valuable uh, in each of our lives. And it's the concept of self-differentiation. Uh, we are all parts of a bunch of different systems. Uh, our families, our biological families, our uh, friends, our circle of friends, uh, work, if we have any colleagues and coworkers, all these are systems and uh, that we're connected like a web. Uh, and when we do something in our lives and how we act, it affects the entire system. And so self-differentiation is this idea of uh, to make the system healthier, to make the system function better, it's being, uh, it's knowing who we are and being truly ourselves while still remaining fully connected and emotionally connected with other people. It's working on our responsibilities without, uh, uh, without over-functioning and doing uh, things that other people are responsible for or under-functioning or having people do uh, stuff that we're responsible for. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a complex system and I invite you to, to look into it some more, but there's this one uh, key that I want to uh, take away um, is this idea of reactivity. And 
And sometimes when we have stress in the system or when something happens, we can be reactive instead of uh, intentional interactions. And so there's some rules of thumb that we, uh, that I've learned help with this. And, and Stuart has talked about this before. Uh, one of the rules is don't just do something or don't, don't just do something, stand there. Or another way to say this is when in doubt, don't. Uh, when you find yourself uh, uh, with some perceived threat or issue or, or you, it, it causes kind of your emotions to arise and you want to react and say something or do something, uh, it's always best to just give it time and take a pause uh, and and breathe and, and know that no response sometimes is the best response. Uh, because when we're because when we react, we're, we're, what we're doing is we're just passing anxiety uh, to other people, uh, and so uh, one of the best things that you can do for your family, for your system, for yourself, uh, is to work on your self differentiation. How do I know myself more? How do I know what triggers I have? How do I know what causes me to react? Uh, and where can I uh, where can I help? Uh, make myself be more of an individual while still being connected to my family. So I'm not overreacting to things or underreacting to things. So, uh, just some food for thought. If you're interested in that system and you've never heard of it before, you can look up, uh, Bowen theory, B O W E N family systems theory. There's eight concepts and it's a, it's a great tool for how to just, uh, life in the church, life in, at your job, life at home. Uh, it's a great, uh, theory. Okay. We continue. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our St. Mark's prayer list. We pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, the presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, our clergy, Billy, Joanna, Michael, Patricia, Susan, and Stuart, our staff and vestry, and the Anglican cycle of prayer. We pray for the Diocese of Egbu, the Church of Nigeria, and the Aurori Province. In our, in our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. Francis House and its ministries, for Camp Mitchell. We pray for All Saints Russellville, Trinity Circe, and Episcopal Church women. We pray for peace. We pray for an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. We pray for all our staff at St. Mark's, especially this week, Tim Allen, organist and choir master, and for all our parish ministries, especially this week, the Bread Brigade. For safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, including Megan, Sam, Breen, Marshall, and Garrett. We pray for any families who are expecting children, and for all parishioners who are in need, sick, or homebound, and for those committed to our prayers, Cole, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Janet, Adam, Jan, Jim, Amanda, Rusty, Blake, Seal, Trudy, Judy, Scott, the Owens family, Laurie, the Towner Weber family, Barbara, and Sean. We pray for all those who are celebrating birthdays today and all those who are celebrating wedding anniversaries. 
and we pray for those who have died in the repose of the soul of Audrey Hamilton. In our Facebook prayer list, we pray for Shannon and Bill and Louie. We, we give thanksgiving for the life and legacy of Mark's father, Howard Nelson Davis, on the 35th anniversary of his passing. We pray for Jesse. We give thanks for Brian's new job. We pray for Jeanette and all those who are in the hospital with COVID. We pray for Trudy. And invite your own prayers of intercessions and thanksgiving. Pray for Paul, for Tim and Ann, for Barbara, Joe and Jim and Shane, for Carol, Sarah, for Millie in school, for Tim's wife who is in labor, for John Bangert, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good Wednesday.